I've been with the city of Colton for coming up on 17 years. It's a fun place to work. And worked for another agency uh, south of here before that. Active town, busy. It's not as big as some of the major metropolitan areas around us. It's just big enough that there's enough going on to keep you busy, but you're not overwhelmed. There's a car here that kind of caught my eye. When they saw me, they kind of made an erratic right-hand turn, so we're going to go ahead and initiate a traffic stop on it. Hey, turn off your car. Turn off your car, and it has to start with a screwdriver, but it's not going. OK, just relax. You have a license? Uh, yeah, I do. Where's it at? OK, why, why are you driving this car? Um, I don't know. She just bought it from a friend, uh -huh. and I'm just dropping it off. It's overheating. Where, where are you dropping it off at? Uh, over here, she's getting the bottom. So you're just going to drop it off in an I empty field? I drop it off like, by one of the... Um, Where you're not supposed to be driving? Huh? Where you're not supposed to be driving it's in the not river? registered or nothing, sir. All right, step out of the car for me. How come you don't have your ID with you? Where's it at? Stand over there. I, I lost it. What's your name? Maricela. Mali, Maricela. Maricela. And your date of birth? 1982. Okay. Um, you on probation or parole? No, I'm not. You ever been arrested before? Nope. In your whole life, you've never been never arrested? Never been arrested, no. Never, ever? Nope. How about a ticket? No, maybe even for like not wearing a seatbelt or speeding or something. How old are you? That was a long time ago, huh? How old are you? I'm 38. So in 38 years in your life, you've never been no. placed in handcuffs? No. I, you don't believe me? No, I don't believe you, to I be quite honest with you. OK, that's cool. Where do you live at? Uh, I live um, on Chase in Riverside. I used to live in San Diego, but I moved from the back. OK. So you said you were maybe given a ticket in San Diego. How well, about maybe, but I don't think. I wasn't. I think maybe the citation. I remember paying. I never paid the ticket when I went to court. I think they dismissed me. So you did go to court. So you were given a ticket. Well, I didn't show up. Maybe I might have one. So now you might have a warrant. So you went from I've never been arrested. I don't remember. I was. To, I have a warrant. <laughs> For somebody that's never been arrested before, your sheer seem to kind of know the process of going to court, signing stuff, maybe having warrants, things turning into warrants. Mm -hmm. No, I know I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. My, hey, no, check because, this out. Let's stop. Stop. Goes, stop. Yes. Okay. Just relax, OK? Yes. You're, you're talking so fast that you can't even keep track of what you're saying at this point. OK, listen. I'm just nervous about getting a ticket. Don, I think the ticket's the least of your worries at this point. No, not... Listen, <coughs> if you're lying to me about your I'm name, li stop. Just listen. If you might have some silly little warrant, little traffic warrant, I really don't care. The worst that's going to happen is you're going to get a ticket for that warrant. OK, I don't have but if you're if you're BSing me not, about who you are and all that other stuff, I promise you, you will go to jail. OK, have a seat on the curb. Hang tight here. I hope you're telling me the truth. So we're going to um, run her when dispatch ran her. They couldn't find her. So it just kind of makes me wonder, what is she hiding? Unfortunately, people will lie to us a lot about some of the most Irrelevant things. And usually it's for warrants or something. They think we're going to run them off to jail all the time, which isn't necessarily true. We shall see. So something I like to do when they're kind of playing the name game, they can remember names and dates of births of family members. However, they never really take into consideration to uh, remember astrological signs. And pretty much everybody knows their astrological signs, especially adults. Kind of throws them for a loop. Hey, I still can't find you. You're not finding me, though. Huh? You looked in, in San Diego, San Diego? I looked in the nation. Starts with I looked in the United States. Did you just run Maricela Palesteros, nothing else? And with all the names you've given me, everything. I don't understand how you can't find me. I, I, well, they don't have no problem in Riverside. Could you just look at Riverside? Look. You're not listening to what I'm telling you. I've checked you throughout the nation. Hey, I tell you what. Please, I'm not. Check this out. I'm not lying to you. I'm not. I don't have I don't What's your sign? What? What's your sign? Your astrological sign? Why does it matter, though? Because it matters. I know mine. Do you know yours? You know yours? I Every... But I don't follow it. I don't even know what it's not. What is astrology? Huh? What do you mean, astro not astrology? What's your astrological? What's your birth sign? Is astrology the same thing? Are you a Sagittarius? Are you a Libra? What are you? Passports. Huh? What do you mean? What sign are you? I don't know anything about that. I don't what do you mean you don't know I'm anything Catholic. about it? Uh, OK, what does Catholic have to do with anything? Because I'm believing God. I don't believe in that stuff. It's witchcraft. It's devil. But I find it odd that I cannot find you at all. You don't exist. OK, the next thing know. that's going to happen is we're going to load you in a car. We're going to take you to the police station. We're going to run your fingerprint. This is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. <laughs>
I'm so sorry. My name is Laren Elizabeth. There you go. I, I think I might have a felony warrant. For there you go. Violation, huh? Not violation. I wasn't on probation or anything. I have, um, okay, let's try I, this again. I, when I was when, was supposed to go to hey. court, they called in a bomb threat and they evacuated the building. Write your real name there. Laren Elizabeth. Write your name. Had enough of your antics already. Yes, sir. I just didn't want to go to San Bernardino jail. Well, guess what? It's I'm probably what's going to happen. Stand up and put your hands behind your back. You should have just told the truth. Right. Be an adult. You have to look in the mirror? <laughs> don't worry about it. You're going to jail anyways. I don't care. So she finally divulged her real name. Um, yeah, it looks like she has a felony warrant for possession of a stolen vehicle. And her car is going to get taken. I wonder if that car is even stolen. We'll do what we call as a public service. We'll send the agency and find out that an unreported stolen vehicle or something. Laren. I'm sorry about Hey, listen, 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 listen. Let me ask you a question. Be honest with me, okay? Sure. Did the uh, astrological sign throw you for a loop? <laughs> yeah, you're good. I told you. You're good. It, it always works. I, I, I so. ain't coming to Rialto no more. That's not Rialto. Give me some credits, Colton, OK? OK, my friend. Yeah, I ain't coming here no more. All right, hey, listen. You're, you're going to get booked for your warrant, OK? OK. Just hang tight, OK? All right, thank you. Sorry about that. Hope you have a better night. I always wanted to be a police officer since the time I was little, which I assume was seeing it on TV. And I just thought everything about it was awesome. Um, and now I just love the excitement, the day-to-day -day excitement not knowing what's coming next, what you're gonna encounter, who you're gonna help, who you're gonna save. All right, a caller called in. Uh, he stated there was a cat inside of his engine bay. So we're just gonna go there and check it out and see what's going on with the cat. Thirty-five, forty-five base, who shows sure getting out? What's going on, guys? What is going, what's going on? We found it in the tire. Oh, yeah. Are the cat's in the tire? Now it lives in the engine. Put some water on it. When did you notice this? Someone left a note on his car. We both live here and just walked by. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's his car. Yeah. Then we hear it. Yeah. How big the cat about? It's a tiny little kitten. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it right here. It's right there. Oh, there she is. She's nice. Is she there? No. Oh. What color is she? I think it's what, a gray. Black and white. Yeah, it's multi. You see it behind the wheel? Nope. She must have gone back up. The water was effective. I think it's more. Yeah. <laughs> the cat went back up, you said? So you guys were giving him, trying to get the cat food and water, and the cat's still in the house. Check with some more. Yeah, you can put them over there. On. That's all right. Yeah, I heard it too. Give me light. I can't see anything. It must be a tiny cat. Oh, that's right. The cat's right here. There? Can you get the, can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. She's looking at me. I get it, I didn't copy. It's right behind. The engine bay. Can you get your hands in there? Maybe. <laughs> Make it scratch. Oh, there you go. You got him? Yep. Hey, sweetie. Yeah. Hello, sweetie. Hi. Come by the Shh. neck. Scruff the neck. Aww. Hello. Do you have a hold of her? Hi. You know. Are you getting scratched? No, she's fine. I'm petting her. That's good. My arm's like three inches too short. Or I mean, like, come here, sweetie. Come here. You gotta watch the sweat because it's not too stable. So. I don't know if. Come here. Honey. I don't see her anymore. I got her. I'm, I'm, my hands are on her. Come here. She's just laying there. Come here, baby. Get us on at 109. What's your toe status? No. You got her? Yeah. Come here, baby. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, I got her, I got her. Hi there. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Did the demon scratch you? Nope. Hi, 
sweetie. Little baby. Nice job. Thank you. Uh, 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 shh, 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 shh. Good job, Selena. Aww. 35, 45 base. Thank you. 45. All right, we uh, rescued the cat huh? from the vehicle. That was a good start. Crush it. Doug, how long were you in there for, huh? Oh, baby. What happened? Oh, baby. You're so precious. Oh, sh 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 sh. Do you want the cat? I'd like to, but uh, I already have one. I don't know if she would cut for it either. Right. We'll take it. What would you do with that cat? We'll take it to the shelter. You will? Yeah. Yeah, we'll take it to the shelter. Yeah. Yeah. Animal Rescue League. Oh, 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 oh. Look at how pretty yeah, she is. We see that cat weighs. Oh, a couple Three pounds. Ounces. Yeah. <laughs> Was you able to get a hold of your friend or anything about He this? just said, don't tempt me. <laughs> he has three already. It's all right, we'll uh, take her. I'm serious. All right, guys, <laughs> we'll have a good day. Yeah, Wait one right. sec. Wait, let me. <laughs> it's a 35, 32. Make one call. <laughs> he just said, yes, I want that cat. <laughs> do, you want, do you want to tell him where we're at? Maybe. He's on his way here. It's my good friend. Oh, OK, perfect. Oh, sweetie, you're so dirty. Uh, See, I'm all greasy. So how did you guys find it? Yeah. It, it's been in there. There's a note on the door that said it was been there since like 8 a.m. So. Oh, wow. It's a pity. I don't know. Usually they go in there for heat, like in the winter, but I don't know why it would go in there in the summer. I think she was probably just scared. You know? Yeah. Good thing you saw that. Heads up, a tiny kitten, white and black, came out of your engine. It got scared by a passing car and went back into your engine. That's really nice, a concerned neighbor. When they, I mean, when they thought I started you? my car, oh, no. right in there. Exactly. Bad news. They said they can't take another one. All right. Well, I'm sure she'll find a really good home. You're okay. We're happy it was a good ending, and we yeah. can help you guys. Yeah, yeah I'm really happy. Right. I don't okay. want to start my yeah. car have before, you know. <laughs> no, absolutely not. You did the right thing. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Have a good have day. Good night. Thank you. Well, the cat's gonna come with us back to the station, and I'm gonna hold it because Nestor is allergic to cats. <laughs> You should probably go to the Animal Rescue League in East Liberty, unless a police officer wants to adopt it, <laughs> which is very likely. Maybe you can become the zone cat. Selena, Selena well, did, you, did you figure out a name for the cat? Yeah, it's going to be Grease. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I got such a beautiful family, beautiful wife, three great children. There's a lot of stresses involved with being a police officer. You come into contact with a lot of uh, tough people and bad environments, and you just need to decompress when you get home. And I've got such a great family that kind of, you know, helps me forget about all the, the stresses at work. It's, it's so important to have that family support behind you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop this vehicle ahead. He's got a suspended plate. Mm, Edward 1-4. Suspended. Recording. Okay, 3 Frank 547. Oh, he ain't going to stop. Here we go. He's not stopping. We're uh, northbound on Canyon Gap by Golden Glen, Nevada Plate. One four. He's motioning and he's pulling over. What is the street name? Yeah. I don't know the street. Quickly before he get, tries to get out. Put your hands up! One at gunpoint. Get down, get down, get down on the ground. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Get down on the ground. Who else is in the car? Cuff him up. Cuff him up, please. I live right here, sir. Who else is in the car? Nobody. It's me, sir. Holy crap. I live right here at my address. Why don't you stop when the lights are on? Well, because I wanted to come to my house. I swear to God. I got my dog right here. I was just coming home right now. I swear to you. I wasn't doing nothing wrong, Relax sir. Relax your hands. Yeah. Tell Frank I want to cuss you. Roll your side. No problem, sir. Come over here. Where you live at? Here? Yes, sir. How long have you been here for? Uh, about a year. Spread your feet. All right, you got anything that's going to poke me or stick me? No, sir. I got nothing on me at all. Can I search your pockets? Yes, sir, you can. So you understand why it went down the way it went down? Oh, yes, 1,000%. I we understand can keep why it right. I understand you're trying to get home, but that's, yes, sir. that's a way to, you know. Yes, sir. No, I understand. All right, you got identification and everything? Yes, it's expired. I can show it's in my pocket right now. Okay, is there anything illegal in the car? No, sir. Weapons, drugs, nothing like no, that? No, sir. It's your car? This is my car. Okay, yes, you're good with me, search. Make sure there's no meth and. Dude, weed. Okay, yeah, I'm not worried about yeah. weed. Weed's legal. Yeah, that's all. Okay, so you're good with me, searching for yes, anything sir. else? Can I come over here and have a seat for me? Yes, sir. Sit down right here. Yeah. I do apologize. Chill with your dog. No problem. No. I'm sorry, again, you guys. I got you, man. I do apologize. All right. Oh, boy. Oh. That's not my weed, though. It was on the ground right when you got out of the car. So you said that is or that that's is not, not my weed? That is not my marijuana, no. So it's legal. 
I mean, could, could they have came out of my house? Probably so, yes. You know what I mean? But if they came out of, out of my possession right now, no, sir. You guys can toss the whole car all you want, man. Nothing in there. You been smoking today? Just some weed, that's all. That's when, at my son's house. When did you smoke weed? About a half an hour ago. Half an hour ago? Yeah, that. 20 minutes ago, real talk. How much did you smoke? Uh, just a joint, promise you. No alcohol, no nothing involved. My car has nothing illegal inside my car at all. No guns, no drugs, no Who's nothing. the registered owner of the car, you I or am. your girl? I am. You are? Yes, sir. Why'd you let it get to a suspended status? I'm not working right now, and you know what I mean? Just, that's basically it, just not working right now. I did a job today, you know, make a little construction job. That's about it, though. I smoke weed. Yes, sir. The that's fact right. that, you know, you've been clean the last 20 years, you've been cool with us, there's nothing other than simple traffic things here. We're not going to take you to jail today, okay? We're going to hook you up. Since I you've been good that. with us, okay? And once again, that weed over there was not my, I mean, it's probably here in my house or whatever, but you know what I mean? Whatever we, weed's be, legal. I know, right? but I'm just saying, my girl sometimes gets high in So, just saying. That's it. Sometimes I don't know. What? That did not come out of my car. You guys can take it. I don't smoke rock, so. Even on my record, I never had any drug charge on my record before. Mr. Damon. Ever. That's not mine. I do not smoke meth, heroin, whatever the hell that is. Once again, that could be my girl. I don't know. You, you seem to know what it is. You said rocks. Rocks, meth, heroin. I don't know exactly what it is. I'm just saying. It's a little baggy. It's like crack cocaine to me. I don't know exactly what it is. I don't smoke crack. I don't got no paraphernalia. My car has no, I don't, my, look at my body. You bodies. know where I found that? No, sir, I don't. It was on the ground right when you got out of the car. So it obviously came off of you. I've been honest with you this entire time. I, uh, I don't bullshit. think you're being honest about that. Okay, I respect, I respect what you're saying. I mean, if you want to arrest me for drugs that I don't like, that's fine, I, mean, I respect I'm just I don't saying want to it, it obviously came off of you, so. I've never had a drug charge in my entire life. But doesn't, just because you've never had a charge doesn't mean you've never done drugs, right? No, that's true too, I respect that too. I respect that, dude. I'm, I don't, I'm not on any heroin, meth, cocaine, anything. I mean, look how I look. Do you, you, know I mean? do you sell drugs? No, you, sir. Yeah. Do you I buy drugs? drugs? Okay. I buy weed. Yes, sir. I get what you're saying, but the simple fact is that you're in possession of drugs. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So, good spot. So, I'm going to jail tonight for this? I live right here. I didn't do nothing. Please, sir. Please don't take me to jail tonight, man. Sir, I've been doing everything right by the book, working the whole nine yards, man. And to get busted like this, that's crazy. So we're gonna pull this vehicle over for suspended registration. We chased him to this driveway. As he was getting out, a baggie came off of him, landed in the, in the driveway. Come to find out within that baggie, which was mostly marijuana, there was a couple crack rocks in there, so. Dude, I'm, I'm trying to get my stuff together right now. I'm getting my, I'm working on so my- So you are under arrest right now, okay? Yes, sir. The fact that we found those white rocks is, is pretty much a game changer. So you're under arrest please, for possession? Please, man, please, please, narcotics please. And the traffic violations that you committed in our presence. Please, can you got, I'm, I'm working right now. I'm, I'm doing everything you, right. That's, please, sir. That's the yes, reality of it right now, Give okay? me one chance. I'll do, I'll please, please do not take so me to jail tonight. Yes, sir. Kick your feet up, man. I don't want you to no get problem. up and get squirrely on I'm us, not, all right? Just please do not take me to jail tonight, you guys. I'm trying my, I mean, I'm not, please. I live right. Honestly, officer, I've been soaked. I mean, I'm trying my, uh, I'm being up front with you, man. Please Sometimes do not take me to jail. Sometimes reality sucks, but the fact is, you please are under arrest for those not, charges. Please do not, dude. Please, sir. Please. So, I'm right. pushing the car. Can you get my, my lady for me? Yeah, we're knocking on the door to get your dog taken care of. So he's going to be going to jail for possession of narcotics, as well as the fling from police. All right, well, good spot. Good work, man. Right. Nice driving. Yeah. Been a cop for four years now. I grew up in this area. I've been living here since I was eight years old. I am the first cop in my family. They were all pretty supportive of it. And I was actually an accounting major in school and couldn't stay awake in class anymore. And decided this looked a lot more fun than doing it, doing people's taxes. 7-8 or 83-26. It looks like it's a stolen vehicle out of another agency. 332, we're gonna be stopping at Detroit and Orange. 10-4, she's Driver, roll the window now. Both hands out the window. Is there anyone else in the vehicle with you? I'm gonna go around. Have her stick her hands out the window. Driver, exit the vehicle and stay face away from me. Step to your left, keep your hands up and do not reach for your pockets. Step left, step left, step left, stop. Step back, step back, stop. Get on your knees, get on your knees. Get on your knees! Cross your feet, put your hands off your head. Do not move. I haven't done anything wrong. What the hell? You got the truck. 
You got the truck? Yep. I got the truck. What the hell? What, what is this going Step on? Step up now. Collier, come around and Step help hard. Step up now. Step up. Uh, what's going Step on? Step up back with him. What the hell y'all doing? Can you down. see the passenger front? Oh, yeah, I can see him. Keep your hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Face that way. Face that way. Step to your left. Step to your left. Away from the truck. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Do not look back. Step back. Stop. Stop. Get your knees. Down your knees. Down on your knees now. Crossing. Crossing legs. Hand top your head now. Hands on, Hands on top of your head. Hands on top of your head. Vehicle's clear. So those vehicles reported North stolen North from Pensacola Police Department yesterday. Uh, looks like she had a crack pipe in her purse next to her ID. So listen, whose truck is that? That's Jake. Jake's truck. Yes, sir. All right, and why do you have Jake? Truck. Because he's my close friend. He lets me use it for work now and then. Okay, when when did you come into possession of that truck? Uh, today, today, when I got it from today. The reason we pulled you guys over is that vehicle listed as stolen. What out the? Of Pensacola Police Department's jurisdiction. Really? So the female that's with you, she's your girlfriend? Yes, sir. Right. She was there. Does she know Jake as well? Yes, sir, she does. All right, so she's going to tell me the same story when I compare notes in a second. Yeah, that he gave me permission. All right, when's she going to say you got the truck? Well, she wasn't with me today when I got permission from her, but... But she's not going to say she's rode in it recently? Yeah. In contradiction to your story, correct? She has rode in it previously, yes, sir. Defined previously? Uh, yesterday. So you got the truck yesterday, not today? Well, I got yesterday and took it back and got it today. All right, hang on one second. He says he got the truck today. We'll go ahead and compare notes with her. All right, Ashley, do you have any idea why we're here today? No idea. All right, let me ask you this. Does that truck there belong to your boyfriend? No, it belongs to um, a friend, somebody named Jake. Jake, how, how long has he had it? I mean, he's had it for a while. Like days, hours, months, weeks? He, few months. Well, he so, went, he, so he's had that truck for a few months? Yeah. So has Jake not needed the truck all this time? Neither or? of them have a license. Neither one of them have a license. So that's why Jake isn't using the truck? Right. Okay. So, when was the last time before today you rode in that truck? Yesterday. Yesterday. Your boyfriend is saying y'all picked up the truck today from Jay. Does he know you have the truck and do you have permission to have the truck? He, and it's possible that he's the one that got the truck without you knowing that it was stolen or anything like that. All I'm looking I, for is the honesty. I don't know what happened. I called Jay last night. He said, he specifically said, I need your help getting the truck back. Yeah. that's. That doesn't make no. anything any better. You are aware at this point that Jake wants the truck back. Keeping the truck, you are preventing the owner from having custody of his own vehicle, which makes you complicit in the vehicle being stolen. Right now, you and your boyfriend are singing two completely different songs, and that's what's got us into a bit of a trouble. The other question I have is there was some paraphernalia of like a glass pipe. I mean, we don't know what the pipe is for over the passenger side of the car. Is the pipe yours? No. I'm not a fan of people lying to me, so you want to try that again? Well, you were talking about passenger side. Like, yeah, passenger side in your purse with your social security card in it. So you want to try that again? Where that glass pipe came from? If you don't want to play, if you don't want to play straight with me right now, that's fine. But you're not fooling anybody but yourself. Can I step out of this truck for just a minute? I have, I have PTSD, and it's very, 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 very small in here. Okay, well, we can get you out of here as soon as we can. I have PTSD, and y'all were grabbing my arms and everything else. We're done here. One more thing for you in the show on the road. Is um, as of right now, I don't know, I don't think I've explained the charges to you so far, but right now you are being charged with the stolen vehicle because as you're having this truck, you're depriving the owner of the property um, and it is reported as stolen. And neither sir? your story nor hers together is making any sense. Go ahead and step out the truck for me. Yeah, I'll give Collier one minute. Right. Spare. It's nothing personal, man, but. At the end of it, you're in that stolen vehicle. I didn't do anything, though. You and her are telling two totally different stories. Not. Maybe you two can figure it out in the back of the car because you get transported together. Yeah. Have a seat. Oh. Y'all can figure it out for a minute while we're out here figuring this out. So we're going to go ahead and let her know what we got, and then we're going to go ahead and haul out of here. Okay. All right, man. So here's what's going on. Right now, he's being arrested for 
possession of stolen vehicle for Grand Theft Auto, and you're being arrested for possession of drugs. Hey, hey, uh -uh, don't be doing that. Don't be turning on him, all right? He didn't put you in the situation you did. Because the only thing you're being charged with is trespassing into conveyance, which is that vehicle right there, because you're not allowed to be in it because it's listed as stolen and possession of drug paraphernalia. Because we know what that glass pipe is for, you know what it's for, but you're just not going to say it. Okay? Things I like about being an officer in Springfield, I mean, we do a lot of different types of calls. We get our domestics, uh, violent crimes, property crimes, stuff like that. Every once in a while, you get a type of call where you get a chance to actually help somebody. It's a lot of fun. You see a lot of different things and you meet a lot of different people. There's a guy just blew through a red light, so we're going to try to stop. Can you roll down this back window too? Hey man, how's it going? No, I stopped it. Oh. You just blew through a red light. You okay? Yeah. What's going on? I'm just in a fight with you. Is this your boyfriend? All right. What's going on with you guys? She started just hitting on me, and I was trying to stop it. Okay. She's really mad at me for some reason. Can you turn off the car? You want to step out and talk to me? Just step out and talk to me. You're not in trouble. We're freaking out. It's all right. Good luck here. You guys are just fighting. Yeah. What were you guys doing before this? Before the argument, what, what, what were like you guys at? Uber Eats. It was over what? Uber Eats. Oh, over Uber Eats? I was doing a delivery and I canceled it because we started fighting. Okay. You're going to have to give me something more. I can't I can't really understand what's going on if you just keep telling me that you're just fighting. I don't know. We were just arguing and I was just, I canceled my Uber Eats and I was just going to take us home. Okay. Do you have anything in your purse? No. Have you had anything to drink tonight or anything like that? Huh? Have you had anything to drink tonight or anything like that? Uh -uh. All right. You just want to take a seat right here? I just don't know what's in this purse, so I'm going to put it right here, okay? Talk to me. What's going on? She just started hitting me in the car and told me to get out. And I, I was trying to stop it, trying to calm her down. Okay. I don't know. What kind of hitting? It's tearing me up. What were you guys going on? What happened before? Why are you guys arguing? If people don't argue for no reason, there's a small, for any, well, any reason you can argue for, but not for no reason. She's got little mental disorders and she gets angry out of, out of nowhere. And I think it's because I left my wallet at home and we were trying to go spend some money. Just step out here for me. You got any weapons in like that on you? Uh, Pocket knife, anything? Nope. All right, don't reach for anything. I was just making sure. Okay. You want to just take a seat right here on the curb? Yeah. Just hang out there for a second, all right? I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> all right, fine. Come back here and talk to me. I'm going to get your statement away from everybody. All right? All right. I really quick, quick. love her. OK. Love have you ID her? <laughs> yes, I have. Okay. Listen, man, from what you're explaining, she just has a mental breakdown just starts screaming at you. She's like that. Like, she's bipolar. You said that she, that she hit you. She hit me quite a lot. Explain that to me. How did that go down? Uh, well, in the car, she just started, like, hitting my head, telling me to get we're the, out the car. We're on her face. But right here, I have a fat lip, I think it feels like. And, and then she punched me in the back of the head, the arm, saying, I don't love you. I don't love you. You have some blood on this side of the Use your fists, both fists. I'm not sure it happened so fast. <laughs> I didn't think she did this to me. Just hang out there for a second, all right? <laughs> hey, ma'am, come over here. I'm going to talk to you, get your statement, okay? All right. So, pretty much what you told me so far is you guys started fighting out of nowhere, punches were thrown between you two. Did anything else happen? 
I really just want your side of the statement. I'm not gonna ask you like go seeking questions or anything like that. No, we both swung on each other. Do what? We both swung on each other. Do you have any injuries? No. Okay. Here's the deal. Rules in Missouri about domestic assaults are very clear. They're very strict. If I have probable cause to believe a domestic assault occurred, I have to make an arrest. He's got injuries. Right now, you are the primary aggressor in this. So what's gonna happen is you're gonna go to jail tonight, you're gonna be there for about four hours and you're gonna be released. It gives you guys enough time to cool down. Okay, and I'll talk to you more at the deal about options and stuff like that, okay? All right, and then you guys will have to go to court on it, if anything, if that keeps happening. But right now, it's just to get you guys away from each other. That's what it is. Do what? What happened again? I love it. Okay, I'm not saying you don't. Don't put your hands behind your back, okay? Do you have anything on you that's illegal or anything? I don't. Fine. He's saying he doesn't have a license. Do you guys have anybody that can come and get a car? Yeah, my dad. Your dad? Yeah. Where's your dad live? Buffalo. Buffalo? That's a long ways off. Do you have anybody closer? You can come get it? I don't know. Buffalo is like quite a ways. Dad? Please? You can talk to him for a minute, Stay okay? Calm. I'm gonna close this door. I don't think he's gonna be happy or tough. I have so her dad's coming and he's gonna be here in about 30 minutes from Buffalo, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna press charges or anything. Okay. We'll be back. Right now, it doesn't matter whether or not you wanna press charges. She's gotta go to jail. Start calling somebody, they'll come and get you. I'll get your report number and you're good to go, okay? So day one at the police academy, I had several instructors that really made an impression and uh, I knew someday I wanted to pay it forward and become an instructor. I currently teach at the academy, the police academy, uh, several times a month. And uh, I think it's really important that uh, my students learn officer safety and survival skills. That way they're able to make it home at the end of the day. You know, 159. Uh, obstruction in the uh, back, they can't see, especially the driver can't see out of his back window. Uh, and then the female uh, in the car, looks like she's not wearing her seatbelt. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a traffic stop. A red GMC SUV, make the stop. Four Avalon. How you doing? Deputy Ramirez with the Santa Rosa County Sheriff's Office. How you doing? Okay, reason I'm pulling your vehicle over is because. Can I see your shades? Hey, shades off? How you doing today? Right. Name? Robert. Oh, how you doing, Robert? Okay. Hey, reason I'm pulling you guys' vehicle over today is because. Um, you're okay. back here, you can't see back there, obviously. Uh, That's obstruction, and not to mention, I noticed that you didn't have your seatbelt on. I'm sorry. It's okay. Hey, listen, written warning maybe, okay, but just so you can be ticketed or he can be ticketed, okay? Anything illegal in the vehicle, such as uh, firearms, narcotics, anything? No. Uh, honestly, goes a long way with me. That's why I asked. No, we just went and got some food boxes. L literally. Did you? I was yeah. okay. on the way here. How you doing, Bonnie? I'm good. Okay. I'm not, well, I'm not really good. I've been really sick lately. This That's is just why I'm my trying cigarettes. to get food uh, okay. boxes so I All can right. take my diabetic medicine. Okay, sounds good. Can I see your driver's license, proof of insurance, and registration? Do you have a valid license? No, no but I do. Okay, you, okay. He you was do? only driving because it just was easier for him to drive than being stuffed up with this stuff. Okay. The last right. thing we need is another ticket or him to go All to jail. Right. Hey, just out of curiosity, man. Uh, is that, is that a pipe right there? Yes. Right there, what is that? It's a pin for the um, okay. pitch. Can I go ahead and get you to step out of the vehicle, man? Right. Sample or another normal, please. All right. Hey, do you mind if I uh, search you for weapons real quick? Okay. The Saints out right there, brother. Let me get you to come over here, okay? Let me get your name and all that. Um, I'm gonna have you stand by right there. Is that your girlfriend? Yeah. Okay. Ma'am, come over here. So you are on probation? Yes. All right, so you know that because you're on probation, it's required for you to cooperate with law enforcement. Okay, and they also told you not to be around any illegal activity. Is that correct? I'm sorry. All right. No, you're good. Go ahead and come back sure, here. Sure. Just hang out right there, okay? How you doing, Bonnie? I'm good. I'm not in any trouble. Okay. Can I get you to step out of the car then? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. When's the last time you were in trouble? Oh, it's been a while. Okay. Can you I'm ladies do me care. can you ladies do me a big favor? Just come over here. Uh, hey man, I want to separate them. Thank you, man. Now listen, honesty goes a long way with me. Is there anything else inside that car or on you that's gonna get you in trouble? There might be another pipe or so. No, I'm, I'm talking about narcotics. There are no narcotics that I know of. I promise you there's, there's probably pipes. What about meth? No. What about spice? No. Now, once I started going brown back there, 
This is where honesty goes a long way with me. Can I ask my boyfriend if he had any spice? Other than that, I don't think so, no. No. If he had any left... Where would it be at? Probably under the seat. What seat? The driver's seat. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to search the vehicle for possible narcotics. Ooh, man. There's cockroaches all over this car. Ah. All right. That's spice. Basically what I was looking for. Uh, so I'm going to go talk to everybody and see if anybody confesses to this. All right, so I got some bad news for all you guys. The bad news is I got a baggie with spice, which is a felony. Bonnie, come here real quick. This does not mean you're getting arrested, so yeah. don't flip out on me. It's not my spice. You know it's not mine. You seem to it's get wrong on my spice. All right, now listen to me. This was in the back seat. Okay. All right. It's all of that stairs. I promise you. It's none then of this why mine. is it in the back seat? I don't know. I don't Did know. Did she tell you to hide it? Yes, she right. was digging on. She was put. She was messing around back there. I just. You were back I was there. Just trying, yeah, I know. That's your workspace. Why are you gonna let somebody do that to you? I was sitting there. I had my purse in my lap. I got my food. My food yeah. box over there. I promise you, Officer Ramirez. Is, this if is I, if, is there anything on you? There's nothing on me. I had the officer, the lady officer, search me very well. That doesn't well, mean anything's not on you. But there's nothing on me. I mean, if you want to search me some more, you can. I promise you, I don't have anything on me. Are you wearing a bra? Yes, I am. Is there any way you can pull out your bra and shake it? Yeah. I'm, nobody's gonna look at you. Yeah. Nothing. I have nothing. All right, do me a favor, have a seat over there. I want to get you away. Ma'am, let me get talk to you real fast. Whose spice is this? I don't know. My boyfriend's one spice. I keep trying to tell you that. I understand that. Just... And I asked him if he had spice in the car. He said he did. It just doesn't add up. I promise you. He said he had some in the car. What about this? Ask him. Whose is it? It's his. He said it was his. Then why he was in the backseat with Bonnie? Then I guess it was Bonnie's. He said he had something in the car. Who? Bobby. Why didn't you tell me that when I first talked to you guys? I didn't know that. That's why this PC, I always tell people this, and they get hemmed up in this whole investigation. I know Bonnie has spice. Okay. Sure. Where is it? I'm guessing that's probably it. Then why did you just tell me it was his? Because he said he had spice. All right. Go have a seat right there. Robert, your turn. They're saying it's yours. Well, I've been the least amount of trouble. I said I would eat the charge if I had to, if somebody's got to get I don't. I want to know charge. whose it is. I'm not looking for... Um, as far as I know, I don't know if either one of them happened. I know I didn't have it. I don't do drugs. So, I don't drink. Well, oh, this was in the back seat, bro. But I give people rides all the time. That's what everybody always tells me. I really do. So I, one of them was saying it, that they knew you had spice seat. today. I was, I was in the front seat. I wasn't in the back seat. I understand that. <laughs> That's pretty cool of you taking the rap for them. You promised me if I stay out of trouble till January, you marry me. Oh, yeah? I love you. I love you. Okay. All right. Uh, he's all right. We'll take care of him, all right? All right, do me a favor, brother. Go ahead and turn around. Put your hands behind your back. And just relax, man, all right? You've been really cool, so I appreciate the cooperation, all right? Always. It's noble of you. I know you love your girl. Unfortunately, it's a narcotic, and it is a felony, okay? I'm going to go talk to them, and then we'll get you in route, okay? Honestly, whose dope was it? Not mine. I gave Ronald my tune. I gave Ra Ra my tune before he got out of the car. To she leave just said the only thing I have in life to jail. I promise you it was hers. That's the only thing I have left in life. What is? That man. All right, well. I love him. So how are you guys going to get home? Because that vehicle's not leaving. You got, do you, you guys oh, have well. a valid license? I do. She does. You do. You yeah. do have a valid license. Yeah. I okay. do. I'm back to the license. OK, you guys are free to leave. And just so you know, that's a pretty noble boyfriend of you because he's taking the rap for both of you. So my nickname is Muffin. It stuck with me for 18 years. It came about when my name was spelled wrong on a name tag. They spelled it with two Fs and two Ss. Like I said, it stuck with me for the planet. So we're responding to a call from security here at the Wildlife Museum about a guy walking around. Apparently he has a gun in his hands and they suspect him of maybe breaking into vehicles. I got eyes on him on the parking lot still. He's going back behind the store. I'll be out with him back here behind the building. Hey, man, shut your car off and put your hands out the window for me. Both of them. Both of them. Thank you. Leave them just like that. Don't move from that spot, understand? Keep your hands out just like that. Don't put them back in. Don't oh, reach not, like that. Not. Get out. Get out. Don't get out. Get out. Get out. I'm not going to Don't. On your belly. Get on your belly and put your hands behind your back. Give me your other hand. Give me your hand. That's very special. Oh, I'm not a dangerous person. <laughs> oh. 
this way. Roll on your butt. Yes. Sit up. What's going on tonight? Oh, no. Nothing? Didn't think I was doing anything wrong. OK. <laughs> All right, we're going to walk back here to these cars, man. Okay. Are you got anything illegal on you? You think it's going to poke me? Nope, don't reach for it. Just answer him. You have knife, needles, or anything? Okay. What can that want me to no, I probably think you're gonna try to escape. Okay. I just trying to figure out where it's going. Worried about you know. your escaping. No. We're gonna sit you back here for right now, okay? Inside, sir. Sit down in there. Swing your feet on in there. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, he get, doesn't have any warrants. Sorry. He doesn't have any warrants. Doesn't have any warrants. There's a. Did you say you had a bubble in here somewhere? Yeah, a bubble right there. Okay. So apparently this guy was looking into vehicles over here on the parking lot of this aquarium. He was confronted by security and he brandished the weapon at him. Looks like he might be under the influence of something. What is that? Uh, Wheat. Okay. How much is there? I mean, it's felony amount. Okay. He's got each individual. Yeah, I'm gonna go back here and see what security's saying. I think you've done the work already, my man. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> no big deal. What happened, fellas? We were coming back up here. Driver, which is Brody, asked if he was uh, trying to break into a car, and I'm looking, and then he stumbled away from the car. He had something in his hand. We couldn't make it out. We got a hold of uh, security. They got it on camera and said, hey, he's got a pistol. Okay. So at that point, we turned around, and then he said, hey, you got business trying to break into that car, and he told us, yeah, he does. And as soon as they came back and said he had a pistol, we just kind of kept going because we didn't want to escalate it because we don't have any weapons. Did he show you the pistol or he did he? He pointed it in our direction. He did? Yeah. Yes. Which pistol? The, was it a big, long, looked like a revolver looking it thing? It was a revolver. It was a revolver. Okay. had like a six or eight inch barrel on okay. it. Yeah. So he did, he held it up and pointed it at you? He pointed it in our direction. Okay. Well, we're in a vehicle. We're in a truck. Information if you don't mind. Right. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Yep. Obviously, he's selling drugs. At center console, there's another bubble and some other stuff. Gotta have your oatmeal cream pie. I keep the protein up. Looks like we've got a couple handguns. We've got quite a bit of marijuana, some drug paraphernalia, a bunch of Xanax bars. It's like a bunch of marijuana wax. I think the breaking into other cars with that appearance is he either doesn't know where he's at because he's as high as he is, or there's something else going on that I don't know at this point. So All right. I'm gonna go grab my camera. It was between it was tucked between his legs of his seat. So he started to move his hand back down. That's when we appeared. I was just waiting for some friends to get back with me, and I was going to go hang out with them. You wait for some friends to get back, and you're going to go hang out with them. OK. Yeah. Well, tonight, basically, man, uh, you're going to be going to jail for multiple charges. There was a bunch of stuff in that car, so felony possession. You've got a big old hand cannon, too, that you held in your hand when some folks were around. So we're going to take you to jail for an assault, too. I think, oh, that. Yeah, that big gun that was between your leg, it almost got your heart real bad. Well, he asked me if I had anything. I thought I didn't have anything, so I reached to check up my bag. Okay. Would That's you understand what you're going to jail for tonight? Uh, kept holding on to that gun. Yeah, probably should have been holding on to that gun. That's yeah. right, man. It so. just usually sits right here, and I didn't know whether to put it up. If that'd be less intimidating or what? Okay. Well, so keep that keep in mind. One hand up and one hand on it, and get it out of the way. But okay. I promise you, y'all ever have any other encounters with me again, which I hope you don't have okay. to. But okay. I won't. <laughs> I won't be doing that second time. Right on. Now watch your foot back in there, man, so I don't shut the door on your toes. All right. So at this point, everybody's safe. No one's hurt. Take him to jail. Escambia County, it's a great community to live in. Look, we've got a lot of prior military and current active duty military who live here. As much as we can to help clean up Escambia County and provide them with, you know, a safety and security that I think they deserve. Uh, in right to another disturbance out here, we've been out here probably about 30 minutes uh, previously before. I was arguing with his wife about uh, a lizard being shaken and tossed around. Now he's calling back, claiming that, you know, his wife's chasing after him. 
I got you. Right here with him. What's 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 going on this time, man? I've been sitting right there with him. Okay. What, not what, doing nothing. What what happened? Dude, she just came out of the house talking about give me her phone. I didn't got her phone. This is my phone. Okay. And she chased me down the road. You can ask him. Yeah, she he did on it. her. Do something, because that's what she has a history of. She wants to be Baker acted. She's acting a donkey for a reason. I ain't done nothing wrong. We've already spoken with her at Subman. As of right now, she doesn't meet our criteria. We can't just Baker act someone, basically kidnap someone, okay. and bring them down to a mental health they facility if they don't meet our criteria. She's chasing Subman. me down the road when I'm sitting right here at the neighbor's house. She just chased me over here. So what else do I got to do? You said this his phone. What's your relationship with this like, guy? She's been with her 11 years. This is the same thing that we already discussed, OK? Yes, sir. Apparently, your phone broke, and you threw it in the trash can. Is that not true? If that's not how it happened, how did it happen? It doesn't matter. I just, I don't even Well, we're here again. my property no more. You can keep the phone. I just don't even. Well, he lives here. OK, so then just let him stay here. I'm very frustrated When was right the now. last, when was it's the last time? It's my phone, and it doesn't matter what I say to you, because he it's gonna get to keep it. Tonight, it's on y'all, not me. It's cause she's suicidal as She's being crazy in there beating the house. Don't, hey, don't. No, I'm hey, not crazy. Y'all ain't what, doing a what, thing what, about because it. Because we can't do anything about it right now. That little unless, kid that tell you unless she, she goes up. Me down the hey, road. are we done talking to itself here? Cause I'm currently talking right now. I'm done talking to you, bro. I'm gonna call another yeah, sheriff. I mean, she she gets drunk and raises his hair. Does she What's say something? anything about hurting herself or other people? There's a landlord right there about it. What are you wanting us to do for chasing you down the road, dude? Oh, Wait, a bitch chases you down the road? If I chased a woman down the road, you'd take him to jail. For what, though? Do what? We have to prove that she did something to you. And Look at my mother face. Yeah. And you said you already said that was a while ago, not I said recently. it was yesterday. And you didn't call us yesterday. And y'all are ignorant. I'm not sitting here playing. I don't call the cops on that bitch unless she's Let me see your arms. Okay, what is that from? Five years ago? Do you have any scars on your legs? Because he's saying you have scars all over your legs. From where you... We've told really? you plenty of times. You will not shut your mouth. I'm not you keep on s***ing itself, that. putting your hands up itself. I ain't put, I put my up, hands up. You keep on up. walking towards you itself. He was not you hang out, hang out up there. I put my hands straight name? up, bro. Y'all gonna take me to jail tonight, for real? Right now, you're being detained. I don't want to talk to them kids, man. We can't talk to the kids because you're too busy yelling. Man, I screaming. just told him to talk to the kid. He was walking up to talk to him. Screaming, yelling, cussing. I was sitting You're there. mad because we're not doing what you want us to do, which is bait cracked her. She doesn't have a single scar on her arms. I'll walk off if y'all want me to, man. I'll leave. Well, man. right now you're being detained because we can't control you while we're trying to investigate this, okay? Uh, okay have a seat, man. man. Oh, wow. Little kid was saying that just you saw him like he was sitting over there itself and she would come in and out just throwing stuff outside the property itself. But I mean, he's sitting way over there itself and she's just coming out the door. So they, just... they weren't ever chasing each other? No, not, not that okay. I've seen. All right. I mean, we can hook him for the obstruction, but no. I think just uh, give him a stern talking to and then probably cut him loose on this one. Yeah. Okay. Now he's talking to me, yelling, screaming. He has a he has a, a pink phone <coughs> in, his, in his pocket. Is that possibly yours? That's my phone. You can have the... Sorry. I'm having a hard time talking because... <coughs> so we were I gonna... Drive, I drive for, for z -Train. Right. That's my phone. Well, he's... And I don't know I, what he's done, but I guess he's either... Does he use narcotics? Alcohol. Yeah. Like, he's going nuts. He went over there yeah. with that dude. I don't know what the hell that guy does. Well, but, like, yeah, that's might be part of the problem. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and go back inside. Yes, Thank you. Ooh not a type of person that wants to just yeah. raise hell, man. I got you. I had that whenever I was young. Yeah. I'm 33 years old. I got Trying you. to damn wise enough. Yeah. Because the problem is itself here right now is us having to come back out here several times over, unfortunately, a matter that as a law enforcement officer itself, I can't solve here Listen. just in one night. There's oh. obviously some deep to band -Aid, and then it goes right back to it the next day. Step on out, man. I'm sorry I flipped out on y'all like that, man. I just said, listen. When I'm sitting there trying to tell y'all what's going on, and I'm telling y'all that these kids around that well, building Listen, right listen there. to me. Hear me out for a second, okay? The best option would be, you know, you're in this situation together, you, you work it out together, ride or die, right? Yeah, we are. There you go. We've been. Well, then why don't y'all try talking about it? A long time. We've been together 11 years. Going on 11 years. Well, then it's probably worth and it's salvaging. Hard. We've we've lost 
two kids. I'm sorry to hear, sorry to hear that. Sorry. No. Over this bullshit. And we're trying but, to get them back right now. Yeah. Man. In, in all seriousness, I think that y'all need to either try and work it out or one of y'all needs to go somewhere for tonight, okay? She will. Once everything's calmed down. My uh, favorite meal there in this call to call, or you have one thing after another, so you don't really have the opportunity to have a lunch. So it's always good to, you know, have, you know, a couple of snacks packed up before you head out and you start your day. And that way, if you happen to miss lunch, you'll be okay. So I see a guy right now who's riding his bike without having the proper equipment. Whenever you're riding a bike, you have to have a white light and a red light on the back, especially on the roadway. You're actually operating as a vehicle. So we're going to go out on them right now. How about you stop your bike? Go right here. Put your hands right here. Separate your feet. What's your deal, man? You didn't see me coming for you across the street so the lights didn't give off anything? You mute? You talk? I do. You do? So what you got to say, man? You know I was coming for you, trying to tell you to stop. How did we end up way over there and now we're over here? You tell me that. You mind if I check this pocket, man? I don't consent to no searches. All right. Let me see. Oh, you know me. Yeah, I know. And I know you. So you really want, you know me. So you want to play this game with me? Because we play this game all the time. It won't be hard finding who you are. I can take you to jail. I know. All right? I took you to jail not too long ago. Right? You want to play this game? Uh, I don't want to play no games. All right. So, right now, I don't know what's in your pockets. If it's a little bit of weed, I ain't worried about that, man. I All know. right? You be cooperative with me, I be cooperative with you. Uh, is it possible you can take my bike? Uh, we'll see about that. Because I don't want you to go to jail with me. Who even said you were going to jail? I weren't. Warrant for what? Failure to appear to court. Oh. Back pocket right here. A point? Uh, a syringe. A syringe? Yeah. OK. You don't mind if I grab it? I don't want to be poked by it. I appreciate you for telling me that, OK? okay. Is it an open syringe or is it capped off? Uh, I'm not too sure. You're not too yeah, sure? Too. OK. So it's in your back pocket? Yes, sir. I appreciate you for telling me that. Where at? Right here? Uh, I can feel the cap. I don't feel the back. Oh, there it is. Any other needles on you or anything like that? No, sir. Nothing? So let me explain why I stopped you, man. Jaywalk. Well, how do you jaywalk when you're on the bike, man? I mean... <laughs> the light. In a certain, in a certain <laughs> and then you cross, you just go dart across the street. So whenever you're, you're riding a bike and then you're on, okay, you can't just go across the street because you know I was coming for you because I, I turned know. my lights on. Uh, I, you even looked I, over I, your shoulders I, I and see, you didn't I, see I, the I, blue I, I and red that. lights I and see. you said, I'm going to keep pedaling faster mm -hmm. and then I'm going to make a left turn. Hopefully I lose him. It's been one hell of a year. <laughs> Yeah? All right. I'm going to sit you in the back of the car right now, OK? Yeah. This is what, the third time I ran in with you? About, yeah, about, about that. Sit around, have a seat right here. Face this way. So let me explain this to you, OK? The reason why you're in the back seat of this car right now, all right, and I'm sure you know, all right, it's beyond just that. How do I know you know? You know that I was coming for you? It's because right when I turned on my lights, I saw you turn your head to the left and look over your shoulders. OK? Yes, sir. You decided to push it a little bit further and see how, then you started to pedal faster. OK? Yes, sir. Which automatically told me, OK, something's wrong here. OK? Yes, sir. Then you were wind up way over here. All right? You got to calm it down with that type of stuff. Next time you see something like that happens, you just stop, man, especially if you're not hiding for something. But since you told me about the warrants, now it makes sense of why you decided to keep pedaling faster. All right? Give me a second, okay? Control three out of three. I took you four. Oh, what was one of that? Nine one three, Baker seven zero. Right. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? All right, I'm gonna cut you a ticket with a light. But you're going to go for your warrant. How does that sound? It's not like a deal? I mean, yeah? Uh, is there any other option? <laughs> uh, yeah, there is another option. 
I take you to jail with a light. I take you to jail for trying to run, okay? And then I take you to jail for your warrant. That's the second option. Which one do you want to do? The first one. You take the first one, you go to jail wrong, okay? There's, there's no way around that, all right? But I won't give you a ticket. You'll just go to jail for your warrant that you've already had. You were supposed to have this taken care of a long time ago. You failed to show up. So this warrant basically is saying that since you failed, there's a bench warrant, okay? Since you failed to show up, now the courts are summoning you into court. So either way, so either way, if this is going to happen, okay? If it wasn't going to be today, if someone's stopping you, it would have happened eventually. eventually okay? All right? So don't sweat it. This is something where essentially you caused and you created this, okay? But the faster you get this taken care of, the faster you don't have to worry about this anymore, all right? And whatever happens after, after today, it happens, okay? Right. You got to move on, pick up with your life, stay on track. You got a newborn baby now. Okay. I've been on the job uh, going on 12 years. I've worked from narcotics to gains. Um, and as of right now, every day I come to work, I don't know what I'm going to get into, what else is going to happen. Um, but I do appreciate people coming up to me and telling me that they appreciate what I do. Even on my bad days, that could change everything. So it really means a lot. Okay, we're going to load Jack hit me. He's pulling out and going eastbound valley. So the San Bernardino Sheriff's helicopter just got a hit low jack hit in on a white 2016 uh, Ford Focus. It looks like a unit's uh, coming up on it. Not too sure if that's the car. Call Charlie 12, that's going to be me. Uh, stand by on the plate. Sure. We're pulling into that colony in. And that's going to be the plate on the return. There's stolen out of the door. Good, baby. So this vehicle's coming back to the stolen. Come on, Charlie 12. You have another units coming this way? 24 on the run. Stick your heads out outside the window! <laughs> Colin, Charlie 12. It looks like a one female occupant. Hey, Adam, you make announcements? Driver, turn off the vehicle. Driver, turn off the vehicle. Take the keys, throw them at them. Lower the window, both hands out the window. Driver, lower the window, both hands out the vehicle. Open the door with your left hand. Stuffing you? Right. Okay, slowly get out and show both your hands. Okay, what I need you to do? I need to walk backwards until I say stop. Keep going, keep going. Keep coming back. Keep coming back. You got it, bro. Continue to walk back. Is anybody else in the car, ma'am? Come on back for me, please. It's all right. Come on back here. I got you. It's got transformed. Yeah, it's coming back stolen, so that's why we're doing this. Is anybody else in the vehicle? Is, are you sure? Nobody else is in the vehicle. Okay. Eli, Eli, all the way around. So the vehicle come back as a stolen vehicle. So we were able to uh, detain the uh, driver. She's stating right now that the vehicle was her friend's and her friend let her borrow, but we'll get more information as we go right now. Hi, ma'am, what's your name? It's Lauren. Is this your purse? Yes. I'm gonna take a look at it, is it all right? Is this your meth pipe? Since last night. Last night? All right. And you have ID in here? Yes. They let me borrow the car. Who let you borrow the vehicle? Tim. From Tim? Yes. So he just said, here's my car. Is that what he said? Because you know, like we told you, the vehicle's coming back stolen. Because Tim was a boyfriend of mine. Tim was a boyfriend of yours? Yes. Oh, he was until you found out the vehicle's stolen, huh? No. Okay, well, he must have been a good boyfriend. He just let you borrow his vehicle. Okay. So we're going to take you back to the station. I'll talk to you there and see what we can do, okay? I'll talk to you in a minute, all right, ma'am? Okay, give us a second. That comes back with multiple priors for different felonies. So um, she's saying that a tendency let her borrow it last night to come see family, and she had no idea it was stolen. And this is her drug paraphernalia here. All right, so we're going to go back to the station and talk to her there and go from there. So we're going to go back to the station and uh, see if there's uh, actually a Tim, like she was telling us, um, her boyfriend that let her borrow the vehicle. Well, ex-boyfriend, boyfriend, she's just saying whatever she can, but 
We'll see what she says and what she comes up with at the station. So, whose vehicle is it? Oh, it belongs to Tim's mom. So, so you just took Tim's mom's vehicle to get out here? No, sir. So then what happened? Um, pretty much I went to go visit Tim and, like, I had, I was telling him that I needed to come out here because, like, I need, I needed to see my family out here in the morning and stuff. And he was like, well, okay. So he gave me the keys because it's just, it's just weird. So where's your kids at? You're going to see them now or that I showed you had a meth pipe? Yes, sir. And that's your pipe? Yes, sir. So yeah, you're in a stolen vehicle with a meth pipe, and you're on your way to see your kids. Can I ask you how old your kids are, Lorraine? Uh, my, my daughter is 18. And how old's your? My son is nine. Your son's nine. So if I called your 18-year-old daughter right now and said, hey, your mom's in custody, would she be surprised? She'd be upset. I would, too, if I was her. But would she be surprised? No. I'm sure because I looked at your background. You have quite a few felony convictions. All right, Lorraine. So as of right now, uh, you're being charged with the story choices. I like working narcotics. Growing up, I had a lot of close people that I knew were using. It absolutely destroys people. So me getting even a little bit of dope off the street is saving lives in the long run. So we're gonna do a uh, check of this alleyway over here. We're getting a lot of complaints reference people congregating over here using narcotics so this is one of our spots that we have to check on a regular basis because of all the complaints we're getting oh this actually looks like a guy i've been looking for right now oh he sees us he's getting on his bike right now all right all right put your hands on your back okay 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 ah Can I smoke that cigarette, please? Not right now. Uh, anything else on you? I'm going to reach in your pockets, all right? It's, it's in the... All right, stand up for me. We're going to walk over to my car. Have a seat. Are you cool if your boy takes your bike? Alan, take it. Good? Can you help? You got it? You Keep your legs out, down. cross your ankles. You got a warrant, right? Yes, sir. That's why you ran. Have you been on this side of town lately? Oh, you ran from somebody recently. Yeah? But over there, no one really knows me. Nobody knows you? Okay. Uh, what's your warrant for again? Uh, uh, grand theft, but uh, it's being dropped to misdemeanor because the guy never, never submitted evidence. That's what the DA told me. Okay, well, unfortunately, it's, it's in the system still as a, a felony warrant. Okay, I saw it the other day and I confirmed it. Yeah. I just don't remember what it's for. Okay. Are you still using heroin? And you still got the rig in your pocket, correct? It's empty. It's empty? Okay, is, it, is it capped? No. It's not capped? Okay. I appreciate you telling me that. Is there anything else on you that I need to know about? I get it, or is it's it in my jacket, but my jacket's inside out. All right, man. Let's stand up. So we're gonna go to the front of my car, okay? Right. That way I can put everything on the hood. And obviously I'm gonna go slow with your, your items in your pocket, okay? Right. Okay, and you said it's in your jacket? Yeah. Where's it at exactly in your jacket? Like in the, in like, it's, it's a hoodie, so it's in the, in the front. Is that it right there? Yeah. And where's the pocket that gets in there? Flip it. Oh, it's inside out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't understanding what you're saying. I'm gonna let you grab it, okay? You got it? Yeah. All right, well, pull it out slowly, please. Perfect, I see it. For using them too much, though, the very tip of them starts to barb open, and that's how you get your infections. Did you know that? No? All right, anything else on you? I'm gonna step back from me, separate your feet, because those things are only meant for a one-time use. You know that, right? Let's get another one in there. Your warrant's not a probation warrant, is it? It's simply, it was a theft, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. In the back of the car, okay? Is your leg okay? I know you, you no. fell on the bike. No. 
Did you see me fall on the bike, too? No. Dude, I was skidding across that bike. I'm a little faster than Bracey, huh? <laughs> All right, Miguel. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about everything going on, OK? How long do you know about the warrant? I got a call from my mom, and she said that, hey, you know, uh, probation officer called, and uh, you got an active warrant. And uh, if they see, see you, you're going to get taken in. You are on active probation? Uh, or or. What's that? Or. OR, OK. Have you been at your mom's house or anything? Or? No, not at all. Because I haven't seen you on the streets, and I used to see you daily. Yeah, I've been laying low. Yeah, I, I get that. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about your addiction, man. Yeah. You OK with that? Yeah, it's OK. OK. Um, how long have you been using heroin? About 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. How old are you now? 30. Three years into it, so 23 and up. 23 and up? Yeah. If you are interested in any kind of programs, I know I've asked you before. Yeah. I'm going to ask you again. I'm going to keep asking you because that's kind of one of my things, man. That's what I like to. I'd rather get you in a program than take you to jail. I quite appreciate honest. that, yeah. Because the, the program is, that's going to give you tools. Taking you to jail is just going to sober you up. You obviously, you know that. Yeah. And you, you don't want to be like Olivia. Uh, Olivia was everybody's mom out here. Yeah, she was. She's a nice lady. She obviously had an addiction. Sadly, she's addicted, though. And a lot of people out here are just like Olivia. I've seen you with. You know, sores on your arms. And that's not living, man. Heroin is right. one nasty drug, man. No, that takes, you know, it takes a different kind of person to do that. Yeah. Because a lot of people, you know, they let us reach in, and then we obviously no, we get poked. Like, and you guys have, I mean, besides me having a warrant, I mean, like, I mean, you guys have to do what you guys got to do. But other than that, you guys have been pretty solid with me. So. You know, I appreciate that, man, because, like I said, that it takes a different kind of person. No problem. Okay. Yeah. So, like I, like I told you, we're gonna, we're gonna take you down to the station. And we'll go from there. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, no hard feelings? No hard feelings. All right, you be safe out here, okay? Thank you. Working in the city, you kind of get to know who's who in the neighborhood, myself and knowing who everybody is. Uh, it also helps with developing relationships with business owners and, you know, understanding what kind of issues they have. Just located this occupied stolen vehicle in this parking lot over here. The uh, canine as well as the airship are standing by and we're gonna go make contact. Fire Marvel 415, I have one running. Star 9, can you call it out? Well, you ran. I ran because I was trying to turn it on for my boy. All right. Stand up. All Stand right. up. Mm, that's what he was all like. Bro, this is not in my car, so I already knew like what was going to happen. Oh. Really? Yeah. So you decided to run about 400 yards? Well, I was going to try to get blade for that, you know? That doesn't my make boy, sense, man. My boy told me that it was his, that he needed help to turn on the car. So and I then all him, of a sudden you run. I told him I got him. Okay. And since I was in the car. We're gonna go over here, man. Yeah. Give me a second, man. What's we'll up? talk to you in a second, man. Um, you catch my breath. Whew. So I saw you. You looked like you just jumped up the fence with your flashlight. And I saw him run across for towards that uh, the apartment complex. I came ripping across and then I got it right in behind him. Just as he started to jump the fence, I just got out and told him to get on the ground, and he complied. Wow. So. It was a good thing you were there. You had a you had a pretty good lead on me. As I ran up on him, I told him, hey, I got a police dog, and if you try to run or do anything stupid, I'm going to send the dog. So. Yeah, I think once he knew the helicopter was over him, the, the gig was up. Yeah. yeah. He heard the sirens and everything. I think he just kind of knew the game and just kind of gave up. So I took off for a reason. Yeah, because I, I believe I have a warrant. 
You have a warrant? Is that what you think it is? Well, I know I have a warrant. What's your warrant for? Uh, for not showing up in court. That's it? Yeah. Felony warrant? Uh, yeah, I believe so. <clears throat> you think that's worth running, though? Possibly getting bit by a dog? No. And it's not, dude. But I just want to try to go to jail, though, you know? I get it, man. But, you know, at the same time, what's your warrant for? Um, for, um, receiving stolen property, I believe. You think, you think that's worth running for, man? No, nah, I wasn't. Just get your stuff taken care of. You normally take care of your business. Yeah, I do. I just want to try to go to jail tonight, though. That was a that, stupid but... move on me, you know? So we're going to check on that, okay? I wasn't driving that. Oh, uh, well, you know what? I, I saw you sitting in it, and you know we'll work something out, man. We'll talk about it. Uh, okay, but I'm not trying to get blamed for that, man. Okay, but you were in the front seat. I saw you in the front seat when it pulled out. Yeah, because I was just trying to like, you Who, know. Whose car is it? Um, it was my. It was some fool named Jose, and he was going to give me a ride. Okay. Because I'm homeless right now. You're quick, man. You got all those fences pretty quick. Yeah, look, I just don't want to get blamed for that. You feel me? Because I wasn't driving did, did you have a feeling it was stolen or something? Uh, so, no. I didn't. I just feel like he was homeless, too. And that's where he was. And that's it. Nah. They call you Mr. Clean on the street, right? Yeah. Why do they call you that? Uh, I don't know, because I'm bald, like Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean? Yeah. All right. I, I guess I could see the resemblance. Yeah. All right, man. You have any questions for me? Just please don't let that... Please don't, uh, please don't let that, don't let them pin that on me, bro. Hey, you know what? Let's be real, man. That car is like a four hundred dollar car. Um, All right, you see how beat up it is. Yeah, but that's like a want, misdemeanor. Still, though, I still want your blame for that. No, I, I feel you on that. At the same time, you're in the car. It probably looks wrong. It does, man. It doesn't look good. All right, Daniel. My policy is if you run, you're going to jail. The charges today are going to be uh, for the GTA, for the car, all right? Because technically you were in possession of that vehicle, okay? I ran you and you didn't have a warrant, okay? I'm going to turn on the AC. I'm going to try and get you some water. Yeah, please. All right. Can you slide in for me? Yeah. All right, Daniel. I appreciate your honesty. What was my honesty? Like you thought you might.